Are you frustrated that Sony didn't at least include a terabyte of storage on the PlayStation 5? Have you ever run out of storage for your games or had to delete stuff just to make room for yet another Call of Duty update? Hi guys, Sam from Everything PSP here. Today we have the solution you've been looking for, installing a 2TB SSD to upgrade the PS5's internal storage capacity. Firstly we're going to turn off the console and remove all the cables, then open it up by pulling up on the corner farthest from the disk drive and sliding the plate to the right as shown. This process is the same for the digital edition too. Before touching the internals of the console, rest your hand on something metal to discharge any static buildup. Ideally don't do this on the floor like I did, a bench top with a t-shirt underneath is a better idea but I'm just showing you how truly simple this process is. Grab a number one Phillips head screwdriver and remove the expansion bay cover. Then the cover just comes right off. We'll put these aside for later. Now you can see where our beautiful shiny new SSD is going to go. I did a lot of research online for this and I settled on the ADATA XPG Gamix S70 Blade 2TB. It has a low profile, making installation a breeze. It has a high read-write speed, measured at 6300 megabits per second under the operating environment of the PS5. And it's priced very competitively, despite outclassing some more expensive SSDs on the market. If you want to score one of these SSDs for yourself, check out the affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment. This would really help the channel out. Once we have the box open, you will see there are two components the SSD itself, as well as the slim profile heatsink. This is essential for the SSD to survive in the toasty PS5 enclosure. So before we put the SSD into the console, we're going to peel the backing from the adhesive and carefully line up the heatsink with the SSD. There's a groove for the screw at the back so you want to make sure you have enough clearance for that, as well as making sure you have enough room at the front for the contacts to slot all the way in. Take your time with this step, as you only get one shot and if you fuck it up, you will have to go back and buy another SSD. With the heatsink installed, gently push the SSD into the slot until you hear a light thunk. Then remove the included screw and spacer from the expansion slot as shown. Place the spacer in the corresponding hole and screw down your new SSD with medium force. Not so loose that it wobbles around, but also not so tight that you snap the PCB. This would be very bad news. Then just reinsert the cover plate and screw that down. Before finally sliding the faceplate back onto the PS5 with a satisfying pop. Now we have the PS5 all plugged back in, let's turn it on and see what to do next. The PS5 should automatically detect that you have installed new memory, but we have to format the drive before we can use it. Select format and wait for the process to complete. Once it's done, you will get a read speed test displayed on the screen. Don't worry too much about this figure as it's only a rough guide based on a quick test and is really just confirming that your SSD is working correctly. Now press OK and let the console boot up. It might take a little longer than usual the first time, as it gets used to all that free space. Navigate to Settings, Storage, and tab down to see M.2 SSD Storage. You can then scroll further down and choose the default installation location for PS5 and PS4 games, as well as manually move them around if you wish. And that's it. Five minutes and now we have an extra 2 terabytes to play with. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, or check out my second PS5 streaming channel in the link in the corner now. Once again, thank you for watching, I've been your host Sam, and I'll see you next time on Everything PSP.